Welcome to Excel name trick number 11. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel name series 1 to 12. Hey, trick number 11, we're going to see an amazing, uh, mostly unknown trick about named formulas. Sometimes you want to create a formula for percentage change, and you want to be able to use it anywhere in any workbook. The problem is a lot of times when we create formulas and name them, we have absolute cell references. Even like in one of our earlier videos when we learned how to do a relative cell reference, it was for that particular sheet. We want a universal global formula that will always calculate from the two cells above our percentage change. See, we have wage before, raise, wage after, stock price before, stock price after, grade point average before, grade point average after. And we always want to calculate the same thing, percentage change. Percentage change formula would be equal, it would be easy, it would be the end, uh, let me do it down here where you can see it equals the end divided by the beginning minus one. So that formula will work. And that is a relative cell reference. We actually could copy this and paste this wherever we want it and it would work. But what we want is a name. We don't want to have to type it in each time. We just want our name, paste name, whatever the name was and the formula actually is there in memory. Click Escape. I'm going to hit Delete. Control F3 is the way I'm going to click Escape. You got to click. I want to click in one of these cells, any one of them, so that there's two values above where we have uh, our percentage change. This one will do just fine. Control F3 and click New. In 2003 and earlier, this name dialog box just comes up. I'm going to take the word change right there. See, um, I don't know where it got that word change. Where did it get that word change? And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create my formula. Equals this one right here divided by this one right here. That means uh, the end divided by the beginning, which is when we have our formula. It's one above divided by two above minus one. Now. This formula right here would be absolute and would only work in this sheet. So there's two ideas we have to use here. First off, we have to get rid of those dollar signs to make it relative. And then second, to make it work in any sheet, you have to actually delete the sheet name but leave that little explanation point. So I'm going to click right here and um, in the middle of that cell reference and hit F4 to uh, get rid of those dollar signs. Then I'm going to click somewhere in the middle of that cell reference and hit F4, F4, F4. F4 is the toggle. If you keep hitting F4, it toggles through all the cell references. So now I have my relative cell reference. That's part one, editing this formula. The second part, and this is a little tricky, we want to delete. That little apostrophe there means there's a sheet name. Um, and we want to del delete the little apostrophe, all of the sheet name and the other little apostrophe. So we're left with just explanation point C16, um, which, and by the way, this name dialog box right here, when we have an explanation point and a relative cell reference, it's not looking at C16. It's actually looking one above. Then the second part, we have to get rid of this name here, too. Uh-oh, I can see a little apostrophe there. I wish I could blow. I can't blow this little screen up here, right? Uh, very big. But there it is, equals explanation point for us C16, but it's one above divided by explanation point two cells above minus one. Click OK. Click Close. And let's try it. F3 for paste name. I'm going to double click my change. Enter. Hey, we got it. Click here. F3. Double click my change. Enter. I'm going to click right here. F3. I'm going to type the. Uh, letter C to jump to the C's and then down arrow and then enter and then enter. Now here's the big test. Does it work on other sheets? Let's click over here. Hey, we have sales from one year to the next and we want to calculate the percentage change. Since I do this so often, I've already created a formula that will always do it on the two cells above. F3, double click my change, enter. Oh, that's so cool. Click here. 
F3, double click my change, enter. Oh, that's amazing. Finally, F3, double click my change, enter. So that's how to create a universal formula with relative cell reference uh, using name. And don't forget, get rid of the dollar sign so it's not absolute, and get rid of the sheet name, but keep the explanation point. All right, we'll see you next name trick.